here from Recycle Parts for Art. Welcome to Learn the Little Camper. Yeah, we're camping, and so we're outside uh, so we can have halfway decent light. And if the neighbors um, hear me, they'll think I'm talking to myself, but who cares, right? All right, so I've been making these cute little uh, coasters for my camper, and I thought I would show you how I'm making them since I haven't done a video in forever. So I'm using uh, sugar and cream. <clears throat> Actually, this is called peaches and cream. And this is called sugar and cream. So whatever, it's 100% um, cotton thread, I guess. Yeah, it's cotton. So look for that in Michaels or Walmart. And I'm using a, a size G crochet hook, uh, 4.25 millimeters. And you can basically use whatever size you want. Forgive the little glitchy things that I'm doing here with the camera. Uh, I am so out of my element here. It is not fu even funny. All right, so, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is um, make a little loop. And this is not a crochet lesson. This is just how I'm making these little coasters. So I'm assuming you know how to crochet. So I'm just making a little loop to put on my crochet hook. And you can make yours however you would like. I always leave a tail so that I can, um, you know, tie that in to be neat and tidy. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, do four uh, chains. Four chains. And then I'm going to connect that into a loop. Okay, now I know I'm using black thread. I have two choices here, black and yellow. I don't have anything else with me here at the camper. So I hope you can see that I just made a little loop. Now I'm going to chain three. And I'm actually going to do a um, double crochet. And I'm going to do 18 in total. So I count that chain three as, as one. And so I'm going to do 17 more. All right. Now we have, you hear that wind? I think we're going to have a thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm outside in the screen tent. Okay, so now I have 18 um, double crochets. Well, I have 17 double crochets and one chain three to create um, 18 spokes in this circle. So now I'm going to connect this. Just grab it and close it up. And now I'm going to chain three again. I'll write the pattern out uh, and put it in the description box below as well. And so now I'm going to do a double crochet right in that same hole where this three chain is coming from. And so I'm going to do two double crochets in each loop each top loop of the double crochet of the prior uh, row. So two double crochet in each one. Okay, you see, you see, I hope you can see that. Two and two. And I'm going to go all the way around and do two in each one. And then I will come back. All right, now I've got 36 stitches, 36 double crochet, crochets because I had 18 here and you put two in each one. So now we're going to connect this same way we did the um, previous circle. Just connect it. Okay, and now we're going we're gonna to clip this off about three inches. So clip it off and just pull it through the loop and then we'll come back and um, I like to use a tapestry needle but you can also use um, a smaller crochet hook to kind of get the, that loose thread down in there. You have to weave it in. So now that's the center of our little sunflower and so now we're going to switch to yellow and it really does not matter where you start. Okay, uh, if you want to start where you left off, you can do that. Um, I kind of move over a little bit 
and just start anywhere a couple stitches after there and I'm actually going into that top those top two stitches you see that that's where I that's where I'm crocheting into and I'm going to grab the yellow thread and I just make a loop and you can do this any way that you're comfortable you can just put the thread in there and tie it in a loop you can do whatever but that's what I do I just grab and then I take the um, tail and the working thread and I just make a little a chain and that's going to be my pretend single crochet so that's a sing let's just call that a single crochet the next stitch is going to be a half double and that is in the very next stitch Okay, now we're going to do three double crochet in one stitch. Okay, and what we're doing now is we're creating this gallop. One, two, three. So on the other side of this gallop, it's a half double. So now we're going into the next stitch. Then we're going to do a single. Then we're going to do another half double. And now we're going to do three more double crochet. You'll see uh, a pattern forming. You see how you're going up and down. So the next one is a half double and then a single. And now a half double again. And now three more double crochet in that same stitch. One, two, three. And you're just going to go all the way around. You're just going to keep doing that. And you see how it it goes in and out. So when it's out, when the scallop, it's creating the scallop, there's an ant crawling on my camera. FYI. Okay. So this is the three double crochet here. Then to make it start to go down, it's a half double, a single, a half double, and three double crochet, and you go all the way around. Now, sometimes when you get to the, all the way back here, you know, if you made a mistake, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter, just, just the last stitch has to be a half double. So I'm gonna go around, and then I'll show you how we'll finish it up. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, and you end up, the last leg, you're ending up with three double crochets in one stitch, and then you see you have one little spot left. Now, if you don't have that spot left, you can fake it. If you have two spots left, you can fake that too. But you should have one little spot left, okay? And that little spot gets a half double, because when we started, we did a chain and a half double. So to continue that up and down scallop, this would be a half double here. Okay, and now you're going to connect that to your single crochet, just like you always connect things, and then you're going to cut this off. I'm going to cut that off and pull it through, and there you have it. It's cute as anything, and like I said, I use a tapestry needle to get rid of these threads, but you can use a crochet hook too. And I always flip it over and uh, do my threads through the back. And I've got a bunch of these all over the camper. Yeah, so I'm not going to get any water stains on my uh, furniture. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, it was fun to make a video for you, and even more fun to do it. Uh, at the campground, outside, with the potential of people hearing me talk to myself, and <laughs> I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art, and look at those, aren't they cute? If you can um, make some in some other colors, that would be awesome too. They just make me happy. Bye for now.